in this module you will see gender is also defined a kind of learning this idea may easily be derived from the things which we discussed in the previous modules that every time we enter in a new phase of life in a new context in new role and in new activities we learn something when we say we learn something that is the norms social order so that's why we are calling here that gender is a kind of learning how gender development continues beyond adolescence it is a process of learning new roles in new contexts with different norms we enter in jobs for example we are part of a new place of interaction that is a new market in a new institution where we have to learn new norms and expectations that is new social order in every market in every context of interaction the expectations and norms are different from the previous phase of development and previous context so we have to act and behave for example as secretary as lawyers managers teachers these are different roles in different places and there are different patterns of interactions so definitely our behavior our ways of talk etc everything is monitored by new set of norms and expectations these new rule, roles add more gender expectation so every time we enter in a new context so we add a new set of expectations with it we enter into new relations if we talk about social institutions first we talked about workplaces and now social institutions for example our relations as husbands wives mothers aunts uncles brothers sisters in every social role definitely uh, we have to learn according to the role a new set of expectations now we become men and women with new identity all these are our identities person is the same the same person is functioning sometime as mother sometime as wife sometime as friend so we have different roles and when we adopt a new role so we indirectly we have to adopt a new set of norm the social expectations for these roles will be different from the previous phases or the places of interaction gender development if we uh, take it up it is 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 a set of different places different experiences different roles and norms at different stages of life so this is how we can define what is gender development it is this interaction of different contexts norms and roles which make it a complex process this is not a straight forward concept uh, this is not something that linearly de uh, develop in a straight line so there are so many factors which are uh, involved which influence each other which overlap and which make up what we call gender development we as child boy girl friend husband wife professional do not remain the same individual it shows that it is a dynamic process as well but the social order and norms alone do not define our gender when we use this term gender in this context remember we are talking about cultural gender it never means natural gender our biological sex it doesn't mean that we are male but after uh, these experiences uh, with the passage of time our gender development makes us a female or we were female and become uh, become a uh, male no not like that it is cultural gender our individual response to norms is different 
तो हाउ अ पर्सन डजेंट रिमेन द सेम वेन ही पॉस इज थ्रू डिफरेंट फेजेज ऑफ जेंडर डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज बिकॉज आर रिस्पॉन्स टू डिफरेंट फेजेज एंड कॉन्टेक्स इज डिफरेंट आर एक्सपीरियंसिस आर डिफरेंट दे ऑल्सो प्ले ए रोल विद इट to understand how a person remains the same or how a person changes its his or her personality changes thinking changes behavior changes with the passage of time when he that person socially develops culturally develops to understand this idea that we have discussed in this module i would suggest you to take a fiction short novel or short story not a full novel if you don't like it here you would see different characters of the fiction so you will find some character that remains the same from the beginning to the end of the fiction but there would be some other characters who change with different context and phases and stages of the story the person or the character which remains the same we call it flat the other is called dynamic character so to understand this idea you will do this recall any novel or short story you have read and write a portrait of such character